Adopting a new puppy can be an exciting and enjoyable part of life, but it can also be extremely overwhelming. There's so much to purchase and so many things to get set up before being able to safely bring a puppy into your home. In today's video, we'll be talking about all of the things that you'll need for your Boston Terrier puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Boston Terriers. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Boston Terriers. So if you're a lifelong Boston Terrier lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Boston Terrier, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video and talk about all the things you'll need to welcome a new Boston Terrier puppy into your home. The first thing most people think about when getting a dog is feeding them and you'll need a food and water dish if you want to do that. They come in a variety of sizes, shapes and colours. Some come with a holder and others are loose. For Boston Terriers you may find a dish holder to be a lifesaver. These dogs can be aggressive eaters and scoot their bowls across the floor while trying to eat and drink. They're also known to eat extremely quickly which leads to upset stomachs and vomiting. For this breed a slow feeder may be necessary. It will put obstacles in the way of the food and force them to slow down. And of course you'll need something to put in that food dish for your wonderful canine companion. When you meet with your breeder to discuss purchasing a puppy, it's a good idea to ask them what kind of food they're currently being fed or are being introduced to during the weaning process. That's the food that you'll want to purchase at first to avoid any sort of stomach upsets or other problems. Then, if you wish, you can gradually introduce a new kind of food. Though it's always important to pick a high quality food that suits what your puppy and eventually adult dog needs. That leads us on to the next thing that all puppies need, toys. Boston Terrier puppies are small and won't need a huge amount of exercise, but they do have a lot of energy. This means that they'll need to be entertained and know what's appropriate to play with and what isn't. All dogs have preferences as to what toys they don't like, so if you'll need to try different ones out. But most Boston Terriers love to chew, especially as teething puppies, so tough chew toys will be a must for this breed even once they've grown up. Boston Terriers also love their sleep and puppies will need a lot of it. A good dog bed and some training will be a must to make sure your Boston Terrier puppy is getting the proper quality sleep that they need. Getting them a proper crate for crate training is also a good idea. This will allow your Boston Terrier to have a safe place to go when feeling overwhelmed or as if they need a break. The crate will become their space and with a calm consistent leader to guide them they'll learn to love it. But no crate is complete without a blanket. This breed loves to burrow and a soft blanket to snuggle into will make them more than happy when they want to rest or nap. Of course the Boston Terrier is just as much play as they are sleep. This breed has a lot of energy so you're going to be doing a lot of exercising, which means leaving the house. This means you'll need a collar and a lead. Boston Terriers are known to pull, so a retractable lead isn't recommended. You'll want a shorter, standard leash to help keep them from tugging. And because they tug, a harness is better than clipping the leash onto their collar. If the lead is attached to the collar and they pull, they may damage their trachea. Attaching the leash to a harness safely distributes the weight across their chest when they pull on the leash. Grooming will also be an important part of your Boston Terrier puppy's life, even when they're low maintenance in that department. You'll want a firm bristle brush to go over their coat once a week and a toothbrush along with some dog specific toothpaste to brush their teeth with at least two or three times a week. You'll also want some nail trimmers to keep up with their nails which will need to be clipped once or twice a month. And perhaps the most important thing about having a puppy of any sort is setting up a schedule. Creating and sticking to a schedule will help your puppy feel much more secure. They like to know when things are going to happen and it will make the transition into their home a lot less stressful. It's recommended you take some time off work when you first get a puppy to help get them acclimatized to their new environment. Set up their schedule and work on potty training with them. It'll set you and your new friend up for success. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we will have three dedicated Boston Terry videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.